Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. I'm Rob McClendon. Well, in the simplest of terms, value added is when you take a homogeneous product and add something special that makes it worth more than the cost of its underlying parts. Now this can be as simple as adding a brand name to an otherwise generic product, or as complex as assembling something in such a way it becomes unique and subsequently more valuable. Nowhere is value added more profitable than in the food industry, where the cost of raw commodities often just make up pennies of the actual purchase price of the end products. Our Austin Moore starts us off with a look at the value of adding value in Krebs, Oklahoma. For those travelers in search of the best cuisine, Italy is likely at the top of the list. The country is famous for wine, pasta, and especially for cheese. But if Italy is out of reach, Krebs, Oklahoma will take you on its own tasty journey. If you go to Rome, you're not going to get a meal like you would in Krebs or vice versa. It's kind of evolved. It's Italian style, but it's evolved from like a Depression era Italian. Sam Lavera is the owner of Lavera's Italian Grocery a store his father opened in 1946. It was just a neighborhood store, and my brother and my sister and I, my mother and he, we all lived upstairs in the apartment above. Today, La Vera's is known not just as a destination store for Italian ingredients, but also for the sausage they produce and for the cheese. It's called Cacciagoli, it's called a pasta falata style. The other cheese in that family would be mozzarella and provolone, so it's really great. It's just a table cheese. I mean, you just cut it off, eat it, or you can melt it. It's a stretch curd. It's, uh, you get the milk and you stretch it in hot water and you make a, a gourd out of it, like a gourd, so you can hang it and dry it. And we make world-class cheese here, right here in Oklahoma. Uh, it's, most people wouldn't believe that, but we make as good a cheese as anybody in the world right here. Acclaim his cheesemaker and son-in-law, Sean Duffy, can back up. We have had the opportunity to garner 11 national and international awards um, since 2012. Our Cacciacavera cheese, our traditional, was voted the best mild provolone in the world in 2012 in England. Um, our smoked cheese, our hickory smoked cheese, just two years ago in Sacramento, California, was voted the best smoked cheese in the country. Of course, the story's not really about the cheese. Not really. It's about the jobs. Unlike most industries that are sort of uh, downsizing the amount of employees uh, with the use of robotics and other technologies. Artisan cheese is very much in and of itself a labor-intensive uh, process and so just innate in its nature is the opportunity to develop jobs and those things because it's very hands-on. There's a lot of labor involved. These cheeses need meticulous attention whilst they're aging for the three to four months and uh, even in the production room there's just a an amazing amount of work that goes into every batch. And every cheese has different demands in both production and aging. So when Laveras wanted to expand their line, the small facility on site wasn't enough. Enter Pontotoc Technology Center and their small business incubator, which normally helps startups grow. Anywhere from IT, from, from computer programs that they use on their, their books, their record keeping, to office clerical skills that we'd help train their employees if they need uh, soft skills. We do that right here at Pontotoc Technology Center. Herschel Williams works with agriculture business management at Pontotoc. We provide rooms for meetings and, and equipment that they couldn't normally invest in that we have here at Pontotoc Technology Center that they, able to, they have access to. The separation of the curd from the whey. Normally our companies stay here three years we help them get established and, and get them on their feet and then they move on. The cheese plant people, they'll, they'll be here. The only time they'll leave here if they outgrow this facility and build a bigger facility for them to move to. This is about 400 gallons of milk. We'll probably get around 25 to 26, uh, 10 to 12 pound wheels out of it. It's so almost 300 pounds of cheese from 400 gallons of milk. So very, very good yield. Laveras is using this location to create a different line of wheel cheeses known as Toma, with plans for a rustic gorgonzola to follow. This facility opens up all sorts of uh, opportunities for us to expand, uh, hire on new people, bring on new dairies and that sort of thing. With the installation of a new food grade floor, thanks to the Ada Jobs Foundation, the school board here saw an opportunity to create new jobs for Ada, with Laveras hiring a local crew 
and to shore up some in the region's oldest industry. We had a need for, for farmers and ranchers here in, in this southeast Oklahoma to a place to produce their, their goat milk. Um, there wasn't any place in Oklahoma. This is the only cheese manufacturing place in Oklahoma that uses goat milk and cow's milk. And this gives an opportunity for a small time family to come in and, and put 100 goats in, completely different than 100 cows, not near the expense to go into it and make a profit at it. And that's the key point. We you know, don't need to do it for practice, so we need to do it for a profit. Cross Broom Farms supplies goat milk to Laveras. Owner, Becky Wise. She says, uh-uh, I don't want no part of that. Right now we have 125 and we have three bucks that are in the pin back yonder. And now uh, we've got some little ones as you can see in the pin out there. But yeah, but all of these girls, uh, we love them to death. With a state-of-the-art facility and the caring heart of a mother, of a meeting of the mind. Wise is working to build this dairy into supplying milk year-round. The goal is to breed a third, wait a month, breed a third, wait a month, breed a third. And that way you've always got a cycle going. And then eventually everybody will be online and then you start the, the process all over. For Wise, there was no greater thrill than the first time she saw what Duffy and his team were creating. He had wheels of goat milk cheese and I was just like is that ours and he said yeah that come from your goats and I was like golly that's just awesome it's awesome that's my milk that is my milk and I helped make that product but that's the whole thing that's the whole point of it is I want to create or help somebody create with our milk another food source for people out in the world to eat a goal shared and embraced by Sam Lavera and his family. It makes us feel so great to be able to, you know, keep them in business and uh, you're able to, you know, keep their business going by what we're doing. all that in one place. Oh, it's already gone. Now, if you'd like to taste some of this cheese, it is available online or in Whole Foods Market in Oklahoma City or Research Foods in Tulsa. Now, when we return, adding value in the classroom.